In the following video, learn how to perform an ABI measurement using the Macy ABPI MD, how to place the cuffs correctly, and how to interpret the results. How to perform a measurement with the Macy ABPI MD. For the measurement to be correctly performed, ask the patient to lie in a supine position. The arms must lie relaxed on the bed beside the patient. The instructions for correct cuff placement are clearly marked on each cuff. Make sure to select appropriate cuff size according to the circumference of the patient's limb using the index marking and the OK area on the cuff. Place the open yellow cuff across both legs, align the arrow indicator with the medial ankle and wrap the cuff around the leg tightly whilst still ensuring patient comfort. In case the patient has smaller ankles and larger calves, please make sure you place the cuffs so they follow the leg shape as demonstrated. Do not leave any space between the limb and the cuff. Place the green cuff on the right ankle, again considering the medial ankle. Place the red cuff on an arm, aligning the arrow indicator with the artery. For the general population, performing a three-cuff measurement is sufficient. When a difference in the arm blood pressures is suspected, it is advised to place the arm cuff on the other arm and repeat the measurement. The result considered should be the lower ABI of the two. Please make sure the cuff tubes are straightened and not twisted before you start the measurement. If the patient has an amputated leg or is not compliant for an ABI measurement because of extensive wounds, ABI can be measured only on the patient's left or right leg by choosing the amputation settings in the device settings menu. Instruct the patient to relax and remain quiet for a minute. Press the Start button to start the Ankle Brachial Index measurement. During the measurement, current blood pressure and pulse waves are displayed. The maximum pressure in the cuffs is calculated during the inflation and therefore varies from person to person. The Macy ABPI MD uses a unique three-cuff simultaneous measurement which provides higher accuracy, reliability and efficiency. The inflation and deflation of the cuffs is controlled by an algorithm. The blood pressures in both ankles are measured using the plethysmography method, which, in addition to its high sensitivity, takes the difference between arm and ankle anatomy into consideration. After one minute, the ankle brachial index results are displayed in a colored scale that matches the international standard along with the brachial blood pressure and heart rate. For detailed information about the measurement, press the I button. The table with systolic, diastolic and mean arterial pressures for each extremity will be displayed. The Macy ABPI MD also provides pulse waveform recordings for each extremity. To display the pulse waveforms, push the pulse waveform button. This will allow you to analyze the waveform for each extremity. If the patient has severe peripheral artery disease, PAD, the pulse in the ankles is very weak. This means the ABI cannot be accurately calculated. Instead, the device's PAD Sense algorithm will analyze the pulse waveform and alert the operator that severe disease might be present by displaying the PAD message. The waveforms always complement the PAD message. You can confirm the result by comparing the difference between the pulse waveform from the ankle with the PAD message and the healthy pulse waveform from the arm. If you would like to view the full pulse waveform, repeat the measurement with the device connected to the computer. This provides the full-length pulse wave recording, which can be analyzed to confirm the condition. Combining both ABI and the pulse wave recording represents the best practice in evaluating the presence and severity of PAD.